In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to find the derivative of algebraic functions. Let's see y is equal to x squared. This is an algebraic function. How do we get the derivative of this using first principle? We can use the method of increment. That is increasing y by a little change. We should also cause a little change in x. So this is the principle of increment, the method of increment. Let's make change in y the subject of formula. So we have y plus change in y minus y is equal to x plus change in x squared minus y also. So this is eliminated. y minus y is 0. So we have change in y is equal to x plus change in x squared minus y y is equal to x squared so we can substitute that here let's open the bracket let's expand this x plus change in x squared it means x plus change in x multiplied by x plus change in x so this would give us x squared plus 2x change in x plus change in x all squared minus x squared we have x positive x squared, negative x squared. So that would give us 0. Let's write out what we have here. Now we have change in y is equal to 2x change in x plus change in x all squared. Since we are looking for change in y over change in x, first of all, before getting dy over dx, let's divide through by change in x, change in x, change in x. This cancels this. We have to change in x twice here. So this cancels one of them. Now we have change in y over change in x is equal to 2x plus change in x. Now to get our dy dx, you should know that dy dx is equal to the limit. Of change in y over change in x as change in x tends to zero as change in x approaches zero the limit of change in y over change in x becomes the y over dx so it means that this function here 2x plus change in x since change in x is approaching zero we change change in x to 0. So we have 0 now instead of change in x. And we are left with dy over dx is equal to 2x. So 2x is the derivative of y equal to x squared.